Good morning, Vlogmas day two. I'm going to put my face on and then show you my face at the moment. I've got a turban on my hair, a towel, and I'm just drying my hair a little bit. I'm going to talk about what I used later on because I really liked the products. And I'm just going to show you a few of my skincare after bath things. So this is the body lotion I like to use. It's the Ritual of Karma. There's another one that has rose in it. I, I can never say it. Are you red? I don't know what it's called. It's I think it's a red one. That's That smells amazing as well. I put that on my Christmas wish list. Um, so I use this. I really like it. Um, then whenever I remember and I have today I spray my face after the shower or after I've done my skincare routine with a rose hydrating mist toner uh, from Sukin. I love my Elemis one but it's very expensive so I also use a cheaper alternative this one has a really fine mist I don't know if you'll be able to see it let's see can you uh. It's a fine mist and it sprays quite well um, and it smells of rose and I think Sukin is like a clean brand as well. You can get this from Holland and Barrett so really pleased with this mist. Oh, same one. And during a cult beauty 50% off flash sale I bought skin suticals. Protein CF, which is high performance, what is it, high performance, uh, broad action, antioxidant, it's got ferulic acid, it's got all these things. Anyway, it's supposed to help with, um, you put once in the morning, um, after cleansing, place one... Uh, place, place five to four drops on palm in the hand using fingertips. Apply to dry face, neck and chest. It is, um, sorry. Irritation occurs due to the vitamin C. Uh, so you need to give it a little bit of space before you put on anything else. I put this on and then I wait and then I go in with a niacinamide or some kind of uh, moisturizer, something that's hydrating. And I also do my eyes. But I'm gonna make a full skincare AM routine and PM routine or I might put them together. Let me know in the comments what would be more useful. I'm gonna show you what I use. Doesn't mean that what I use is best for everyone. But I am 45 turning 46 and my skin is pretty good. I think that's mostly because of jeans. But the moisturizing elements help as well. So I have been talking for 3 minutes and 20 seconds about creams. And you still haven't seen my face. I'm going to dry my hair and then we'll have a chat. Put on some makeup, do my skincare and we'll talk. Get yourself a cup of coffee. I think this uh, vlog is going to be a long one is what I spray in my hair. It's the BB Thickening Spray and it's supposed to give you lush blow dries. I think it does make my hair look fuller and less fine and it does give it volume so I really like this and a little bit goes a long, 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 long way. And I'm also going to use, let me show you what else I use on my hair, this bad boy. So this is the Philip Kingsley, what is it called, Elasticizer. This is a Elast Elasticyler. This is a very popular line from Philip Kingsley. It's multitasker for all hair types. It's a five-in-one hair treatment. This makes my hair nice and smooth. I just use a very small size though because it would make it makes my hair um like heavy and greasy if I use too much. So these are the two things that I put in my hair and then when I straighten it I use um, just a you know a heat protect. So hello this is me now you can see me so vlogmas day two and three hang on let me just put you on my computer oop because you're just seeing my nose let me just put you on my computer and let's just have a little chat. First of all 
I will be doing, as I said, I'm going to be doing videos every day. Some will be content videos and some will be vlogmas. Whenever I am not posting a vlogmas video, I will be filming and then just putting the days together. So tomorrow is December the 3rd. So I'm going to post, uh, I'm going to be filming today, which is December the 2nd, and tomorrow, and then post the vlogmas video on the 3rd. Today I am going to work on the thumbnail and the, um, the description box of my Amazon gift guide. So it's for him and her. So if you're interested in that, please do check out my um, channel. I will link the video somewhere as well so you can see it. I'm sitting down now to film a gift guide for the beauty love, my thematic gift guide. So I filmed the other one. They're probably going to go live next week. So I'm doing the gift guide for the person who is loving cozy at home, the beauty lover, the soup lover, and I'm actually thinking of maybe doing another one on people who love like accessories and stuff like that. Let me know if you have any kind of uh, category of person you want to buy for, and I can think of that, uh, except for the sports one, because <laughs> I'm not that uh into gifts for people who love sports because I do not go to the gym and all that. Anyway, so just wanted to say hello. This is my hair after using the Red Ken Magnetic uh, Color Extend. <gasps> I loved it. My hair loved it. It feels nice and soft. I need to get my hair dyed. That's the issue. I missed my appointment and now like Silver Fox is... Pfft, overdue i'm getting the hair down on the 21st <sighs> and then so i really liked the red can um i'll put a picture of what this is i've been using the philip kingsley one and i really like that one i didn't get along with the olaplex one so yeah i think i have found a new favorite it made i bought the shampoo and the conditioner and it made my my hair look feel really soft i've used the thickening bumble and bumble spray that i showed you and the philip kingsley elasti styler um so yeah now i'm gonna leave you for now and come back later with things i'm gonna get up to and i'm gonna film my videos now for lunch today i'm having stuffed vine leaves with some of the greek yogurt this is the best greek yogurt like this is original we buy this in greece it's like amazing and some bread and i really like these i didn't make them though they're ready made so the stuffed vine leaves are like with rice traditional greek i think yeah greek dish okay so i'm gonna fill my um what am i filming now my empty I have loads of empties here, so I'm going to film that. But I wanted to talk about the lipsticks I'm wearing. So, I... Because I've changed lipsticks. It's, been, it's like midday now. Uh, so, I'm wearing the Almond Hustle, which is a cream. I like these ones. I think this is Maybelline. What is it? I don't know. What is it? What is it? What is it? What is it? Um, Maybelline, yeah. This is what the Toasted Hustle looks like. So that's the colour. That's what I've got on my lips. And on top, I don't know if it suits, but I like it. I'm colourblind. <laughs> so that's a benefit. I'm wearing one of Rihanna's uh, Fenty Beauty. Uh, I have no idea what this is. But don't worry. Let's take out my bright magnifier, which the Low Vision Clinic at, gave me at the hospital. And let's see what this is. Dun, dun, dun. Uh, that's going to be a bit difficult because I am an acromat and this is a struggle is real, guys. I have no idea what the top is. I'm going to stick it as close to the camera as possible. So if you want to see what it is, I don't know if you can. You'll have to turn around the camera or something. I can't read this. That's one of the benefits of being an acromat. You can't see when the colours are contrasting. So, yeah, I'm going to film my uh, empties now. I've got loads. I'm going to take everything out and see what I used up and talk about them. So I'll see you in a bit, guys. Do a good old little Black Friday haul. 
I bought the Bulgari Omnia collection. So I wanted to try. I've smelled them. I don't know how I feel about all of them. But, so you get golden citrine. They're citrusy. Crystalline and amethyst. I think I like the amethyst the most. So I got that. And I think this is a great gift idea. If you know anyone who likes this line or if you know anyone who likes trying perfume. Then, this was all part of the Black Friday sale. So, I got Eye Beauty. So this is First Aid Beauty. I love First Aid Beauty. I think they're really good. I got the Eye Beauty. Eye Beauty. This is a niacinamide nice brightening cream for sensitive skin. I have sensitive skin and I need something to brighten my eyes. So I got that. These are all from Feel Unique. I must say that the packaging is really good and everything was protected. So compared to Look Fantastic and Cult Beauty, I think they have the best ones. I've already opened it, so I'm not going to be like, oh, wow, I can't believe this. This is the Natasha Denona Love Cheek Dew. I wanted to try this. It's a cream, so I don't have any of her cream products. The packaging is beautiful. And let me just show you what the cream looks like. It's not going to be very easy. Hang on, let me pause. As you can see, I'm using my phone. So that is the blush and highlighter. It's got a little love heart. So I'll try these and I'll come, I'll get back to you. Then I've never tried any of uh, Charlotte Tilbury's um, uh, eyeshadows from her eyeshadow palette. So I thought, oh, I might as well try something. So this is the copper what's it called it's called copper something um copper 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 what does it say there copper coded <laughs> anyway and this is it they look really pretty and then i saw everyone was buying this <laughs> I've never heard of this brand. It's a liquid lipstick. It's from a brand called Velvet Tines. If you've ever heard of this, um, let me know. And I bought, I think, the rose. Hang on, let me open it. So this is that. It's a rose. And then, what else did I get? And everyone was buying Givenchy. And I've never tried Givenchy lipsticks. And as we've said, I do have a problem with lipsticks. And I don't need any more lipsticks. But I did buy another lipstick. This is, hang on, come on, focus camera, focus, it doesn't want to focus, anyway, I'll open it and show you. So, this is the Givenchy, it's called Orange Absolute, so I'm guessing it's an orangey, corally, summery colour, what do you think, summer, winter, where, where would you wear this? I wear bright colours, I'm not scared, so wear this unless someone tells me it's horrible anyway let's see what I think about the Givenchy so it is Friday the 3rd and I had a little bit of a drama with one of the videos I filmed half of the footage was missing hang on let me put you on my computer half of the footage was missing so I had to film again hence the red lippy at 11 o'clock in the morning I want to talk about this lippy though. It is amazing. It's really nice. It's the, it is the YSL number one that I got this in a limited edition kind of sale for Christmas. Comes with this nice cute um, top thing, cap. Really nice. Recommend. Going to do advent calendars and stuff like that. Have my coffee and catch up with you guys in a minute about makeup I've been playing with some things now in the morning because I was filming the video and I talked about getting a beauty lover a little Charlotte Tilbury um palette because I think they look really nice and I got the co copper coded um hmm. so this one here I put on my eyelid I don't know if you can see that but I probably messed it up, but I can't really see it. 
So when I put this, so I've stuck my finger in here and then I put it on my skin, that's what comes out. So I don't know if it's not pigmented or if because I'm colorblind, my eye isn't picking up anything. What do you see? I see a little bit of sh I see a little bit of shine, a little bit of glitter. So that's okay as a topper. Now, this one here, I can see. This one I proper see. I'm putting it on textured skin. Excellent. That I can see. This one here, this one, I can see. So it's just this one that I can't see. My eye isn't picking this one up. I don't know. So um, I don't know if I would, um, I guess I can see that. Th so those three are on my hand. I guess I can see. Oh, this one is really dark. The matte one. Uh, it's like proper dark. I guess you'd use that. And it looks a bit, oh no, you know, when you spread it, it's not patchy. So there you go. That's the final one. I did amazing swatches, but I'm not filming like a beauty review. I just wanted to talk to you as we're vlog, doing vlogmas. So, yeah, what do you guys think? What is going on with this one? Is it my eyes that can't pick it up or is it not pigmented? So that's that. I do like the concept of a little one and I am going to use this. It's not like I'm not going to use it. The other reason I wanted just to pop in and talk a little bit to you about makeup, because why not? I really like this foundation. I'm running out and I need to buy a new one. So it's the Hydroluminous Moisturizing Foundation. And I am in the shade that Calco. Um, and it's just nice. It doesn't last 24 hours. It lasts quite well though. And I just think it's a really nice foundation. 46 guys. And this foundation does cover up. And I, I like it. So... There you go, your speedy review of the day. Let's move on to the advent calendars. So we have the M&S Beauty one and the ASOS Beauty one. Let me just find number two from the M&S one and three because I haven't opened two and three. So this is number two and it is a calm apothecary. It's a body wash, which is always useful for travel. And let me just try to open a poor little box just gonna chuck these now oh I feel something small what is this it's a little tub of what is this so L'Occitane oh nice L'Occitane cream so there you have it let's move on to ASOS mm -hmm. number two is here and number three. Oh, is this big one let's see what it is I bet you this is a mask Let's see. Oh, no. It's an oil and a little brush. Cool. And let's see number two. What's number two? I feel a tube. Come on. Pause. A Pow Pow Cream. I have these from all these boxes. This is definitely going to go in a giveaway later on this month. So, yeah. And I think I'm also going to put this L'Occitane because I'm not a fan of all the almondy scents. So this and that are going to go in my giveaway later on this month, probably around the 10th of December. So subscribe. So I went to Sainsbury's and did a little bit of uh, shopping. So I'm going to show you the groceries and just meal ideas and stuff like that. So I'm going to put you on something and show you what I got. Okay. Cauliflower. I like boiling cauliflower and putting olive oil and lemon as a sauce on the sauce just to season it and I really like that. I also bought cabbage because I want to make cabbage and rice and tomato. It's a Greek recipe instead of lachano dolmades which is little pastry, well, little folded thingamajigs with cabbage and rice. I'm going to make this as um, a rice. So I'll show you this. It's probably going to be in a future vlog because I'm going to make this this evening and I'm going to finish off this vlog once I show you everything I got because it's too much footage. Um, I got iceberg. I like having iceberg with chicken. I bought some little Frankfurt uh, sausages to, you know, make sausage rolls or sausage hot dogs or something. 
I got some mashed potato for dinner. I'm going to make it with some gravy and some tender stem. What are these broccoli? I love these with um, lemon. Got some salami. I eat meat. My partner doesn't, so I got some vegetarian ham slices. He prefers a turkey. I didn't know that. Got the wrong one, but anyway. Got some mango chunks. Gonna have that in a bit while I'm editing. Got a pack of salt and vinegar crisps because you know sometimes lunch and some flatbread Greek style. I made um, I made meatballs with red sauce. I grilled these and I put some Greek yogurt on top and then some paprika. Delicious, very nice. Some fresh tagliatelle. You're below, you're like low down. That's why you're getting the double chin situation and my hair is all funny. So I got some fresh tagliatelle made like with mushrooms or something like that. Uncle Ben's long grain rice for my... Oh, they boil in a bag for my... Um, Lajano de Nuaves. I got some Arctic Caramel Latte coffee. Um, and... And some potatoes, because we always need potatoes. Some onions, because we usually buy the ones that are in the net, but they we waste them, so I got some onions in a bag. And carrots, I just like make grating carrots and putting a little bit of lemon and sea salt. Nice snack. So that is everything. Okay, so I'm going to finish off my vlog now. Thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed this, give it a thumbs up. Thank you for staying until now. I think this is going to be a long vlog. I'm going to have a vlog again on Monday, I think. As I said, I'm doing Vlogmas and general content, filming a lot. So, yeah, thanks so much. Let me know what you were up to today, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.